Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a proof of the Ron scheme. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to define is the differential equation of second order. I'm going to say that there is a coefficient of 1 in, for the y double prime term. The Ron scheme tells you whether or not you have linearly independent solutions. So y1 and y2 are linearly independent solutions where y1 is not equal to a constant times y2. So in other words, I can't multiply y2 or one of my equations, one of my solutions by a factor and get out another one. And how you show that something is linearly independent or otherwise, you calculate the determinant of, the, of a matrix. And the determinant or of the matrix, excuse me, is the matrix is y1, y2, y1 prime, y2 prime. Like so. So I've just written my matrix up here in the corner. And we need to calculate this determinant. So let's go ahead and prove the uh, prove basically how the Ronskin works. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the Ronskin. So we'll say that W, I'm going to say for now on W is a is function of X, and I'm just going to imply the function of X from now on. So I'm just going to say W. So just by being very careful and doing it slowly, you'll find that the Ronskin is equal to y1, y2 prime minus y2, y1 prime. AD minus BC, okay, on your on your uh, on your determinant. AD minus B BC, uh, yeah, that's it, okay. AD minus BC. All right. So, what can we what can we do here? Well, if you look at your differential equation, you can rearrange it such that y double prime becomes. Let's put everything else the, over to the other side, and you're going to get y double prime is equal to negative p y prime negative q y. Next thing we need to do is get the term, the excuse me, the second derivative or the first derivative of the Ronskin. So we need to get ddx of w of x. And that's going to be ddx dx of y1 y2 prime minus y2 y1 prime. You might say, well, how do we do this? Well, look, it's actually very straightforward because we know that differentials are commutative, so you're going to get this. All right, and look, both of these are product rules. You're going to get two by product rules. All right, so you just need to be careful and be slow when you're doing these, and you're going to get it straight out. So there is my Ronskian. Its first derivative is going to be equal to W prime, and its first derivative is Y1 prime. Oh, no, it's not going to be that. It's Y1, Y2 double prime plus y1 prime, y2 prime, minus y1 double prime, y2, minus y1 prime, y2 prime. Now have a look at this, and you'll see negative y1 prime, y2 prime. And you'll see a positive y1 prime, y2 prime. So get rid of them. And we're left with that. That now is the derivative of the Ronskin. Okay, so y1 double prime y2. That's correct. That's that's not in the right the right location. However, we also know something. We know what y double prime is. So let's plug y double prime of two and y double prime of one in. All right. So we're going to get the following. We're going to get that the Ronskin, its first derivative is going to be equal to y1 outside of negative p times y2 prime minus q times y2. All right? And do the same thing then on the other side. And we're going to get negative p times y1 prime minus q times y1. That is the first derivative of the Ronskian. So what do we do next? Well, let's see if we can factorize this. And uh, if you pull out the following, if you pull out p of x, you're going to get y, or excuse me, not y, you're going to get w prime is equal to negative p outside of y1, y2 prime minus y1 prime, y2 prime, or y2. That's going to be equal to negative p times w. Okay? Because your q's are going to cancel out. So Alright, because look, this is your Ronskian. This is what we defined at the very start as my Ronskian. 
All right, so just a small bit of factorization there. So we find that w prime is a factor of negative p times w. So what does that mean? Well, what can we do next? What if we look at what w prime means? So w prime is equal to dw dx is equal to negative p of x times w of x, like that. So let's do a small bit of separation of variables, and we're going to get dw over w of x is equal to minus p of x uh, outside of, well, not, yeah, outside of, I suppose you probably best just put it inside altogether, is it? Negative p of x dx. All right, how do we integrate that? Now that's something you should be doing in first year in college, but I'm going to do it very explicitly all the same. All right, so we had the following. We had the integral of dw over w minus or equals negative the integral of p, uh, p dx. All right, so this, of course, is a logarithm, so we get the logarithm of w uh, is equal to negative the integral of p dx. All right, so what do we do there? Well, if we take an exponential on, on both sides, that's like that, take an exponential on both sides, you know that the exponential and the logarithm are inverse functions, so they cancel, so we're just going to get w is equal to the exponential of minus the integral of p dx like so, and you should be, you should be, un, you should be uh, recognizing this as an integrating factor. If you don't, that's not a big deal. Okay, now, that's what w is equal to. Do we know anything else? Well, we do, of course, because we also know w is equal to y1, y2 prime, minus y1 prime, y2, and is equal to, now it's, it's equal to, we'll say, a constant times e to the minus the integral of p of x dx. They're all equal to the same thing. All right, so let's multiply across by 1 over y1 squared and see what we get. And I know we're getting a bit, bit, uh, a bit messy. So we get as a result of that ddx of y2 over y1 is equal to a over y1 to be squared. Uh, times the exponential to the power of negative integral p of x dx, like so. All right, and because this is a differential on one side, well, if we integrate the whole thing, we'll find that y2 is equal to y1 times the integral of a over y1 squared times the exponential negative p of x dx. Alright, that's painful. That's some painful stuff, but um, yeah, it's not too bad in the end. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.